Hi, boys and girls. This is Miss Christy, and this is also Bruno. <laughs> Bruno's upside down. He's helping me help you do your homework. So this is 5.5. Oh, there's Bruno again. Every time I stop patting him, he puts his paw on my arm. <laughs> Look at it. He's so cute. Okay, enough of that, though. Let's get back to our work. So this is Homelink 5-5, adding tenths and hundredths. So remember we did this today in class, and we talked about how if you need to find a common denominator, if you have one fraction that is tenths and one that is hundredths, you can either make the common fraction tenths if your numerator in the hundredths is a multiple of 10, or if it isn't, then you can just make them both hundredths by multiplying the tenths by 10. So number one says 2 tenths plus 15 hundredths. Write the equation in words. Okay, so 2 tenths and 15 hundredths. Well, it's 15 hundredths, so we can't make that tenths because that would be one and a half tenths and can't have a fraction in a fraction. So 2 tenths, we're going to make that 20. I know, Bruno, hang on. 20 hundredths. plus 15 hundredths, whoops, hang on guys, can't really see that, can you? There we go, yep, Bruno's still there, <laughs> there's Bruno. <clears throat> okay, hang on, um, let me clarify the, there we go, okay, equals, so 20 hundredths plus 15 hundredths equals, hmm, what does it equal? 20 plus 15 is 35, right? 35 hundredths. Hundredths. And I had to write kind of small because it kind of went off the page. <laughs> so that's okay. You can always go write it down under here too. That's okay. Okay. I'm going to bring it up a little bit just to make it a little bit so you can see a little bit more. Oh, here's Bruno. Okay. Um, okay. So now I'm going to focus it. Okay. So now 68 hundredths plus 3 tenths. Okay, so we can't add hundreds and tenths. And we and 68, we can't, that's not base 10, so we have to instead multiply the 3 and the 10 by 10. So that's going to be 68 hundredths plus 30 hundredths equals 68 plus 30. What does that equal? 68 plus 30 is 98 hundredths. Right? Yes. Now, look, 98 hundredths. That can be simplified, right? So remember the halves trick we used earlier today? So 98, you can cut that in half. What is 98 divided by 2? 98 divided by 2. Well, half of 90 is 45. And half of 8 is 4. So 45 plus 4, that's 49, right? 49. And half of 100, well, that's 50. We know that, right? There we go. Just like that, okay? I can hear Layla barking at the door. She needs me to let her in. So I'll be right back. I just have to go let her in. Come on, Ruby. Let Layla in. She's feeling left out. She wants to do homework, too. You're going to want us to do homework, too. Okay. So now, number three. 
one tenth plus fifty hundredths. Oh, look, fifty hundredths. Fifty hundredths, that one, we can actually simplify fifty hundredths and make it tenths and do our equivalent fractions that way. Because fifty hundredths, if we just divide them both by ten, get rid of the zeros, that's five tenths. So our equation this time is one tenth plus five tenths equals one tenth plus five tenths. That equals six tenths. And look, what do you notice about six tenths? Six and ten are both divisible by two. So six tenths, six divided by two <laughs> equals three. Ten divided by two equals five. That's just the doggies, they're playing. See, there they are. Wait, you can't see them. <laughs> there they are. They're so silly. <laughs> they're just playing, don't worry. They're not hurting anything. They just like to play like that. They get all excited when I come home from work. Okay, so six tenths equals three fifths. There we go. All right, number four. Four tenths plus sixty hundredths plus three tenths plus eighty one hundredths. Hmm. Well, the sixty hundredths, we could turn that into tenths, but the eighty one hundredths, we can't turn that into tenths. So we're going to just have to make it all hundredths. So four tenths is going to be forty hundredths plus sixty hundredths plus three tenths equals thirty hundredths plus eighty one hundredths. Okay, so these are a lot of things to add. But let's see if we can make it a little bit easier. Oh look, do you notice what I notice? 60 plus 40, what's 60 plus 40? 60 plus 40 is 100. So this right here, that equals 100 one hundredths. And do you remember how we talked about 100 one hundredths equals one, one whole? So 100 one hundredths, and that takes care of that. And then what's 81 plus 30? 81 plus 30, well let's see, 8 plus 3 is 11, so it's 111 hundredths, and that equals, well look, we can pull another whole out of here too, can't we? 111 hundredths is the same as another whole, so one whole plus another whole is two wholes and 11 hundredths. Can you see that okay? Okay. All right, so now let's go to the next one. One and three tenths plus five and 64 hundredths. All righty. Well, let's add the whole numbers first. Five plus one is, oh wait, look. <gasps> look what I forgot to do. 64 hundredths and three tenths. So this is going to be 1 and 30 hundredths plus 5 and 64 hundredths. All right. Well, so 5 plus 1 is 6. And then 64 plus 30. 64 plus 30, that is 94 hundredths. Oh, but wait, we can simplify that some more, can't we? 94 divided by 2, what Bruno? Divided by 2 equals 45, 45 and 45 is 90, half of 4 is 2, so 45 plus 2 is 47, and 100 divided by 2 is 50, so it's going to be 6, and 47 fiftieths.
think maybe the doggies were a little bit hungry, so I fed them. There's Bruno. Oh. <laughs> All right. So three and 22 hundredths plus two and eight tenths. Three and 22 hundredths plus two, and we can't do 80, eight tenths, it has to be 80 hundredths. Okay. Well, we can add the whole numbers. Three plus two is five. And then 80 plus 22, 80 plus 22. Well, I know 80 plus 20 is another 100. So 100 one hundredths, that's another whole. And then two, we have two one hundredths left over. So five plus 100 one hundredths, which is a whole. So five plus one is six. Six and two one hundredths. Six and two one hundredths which we can divide both of those numbers by two, so that's going to be six and one fiftieth. Six and one fiftieth. Okay. Fifteen tenths plus seventy-eight hundredths. Hmm, well, fifteen tenths, that is an improper fraction. So that already is more than one. So... We also have to change the 10 into 100. So we could do this a couple of different ways. Um, why, don't we, why don't we pull the whole out before we, so 15 hundredths, 15 tenths is the same as one and five tenths plus 78 hundredths. And that equals one and 50 hundredths plus 78 hundredths which equals 50 plus 78. Well, I know that 50 and 50 is 100. So if I take 50 away from the 78, that makes this another whole. So this could be 2, and then 78 minus 50 is 28, 2 and 28 hundredths. And then we could simplify this 28 hundredths. Oh, because look what I noticed. 4 is a factor of both 28 and 100. 28 divided by 4 is 7, and 100 divided by 4 is 25. So this equals 2 and 7 25ths. Wow, this, this homework's a little bit tricky, isn't it? Okay, number 8. Nicholas shaded 40 hundredths of his hundreds grid. Victor shaded 5 tenths of his grid. Who shaded more? How much did they shade in all? Okay, so, um, Victor shaded... So 40 hundredths, well, 5 tenths, 40 hundredths equals 4 tenths, and 5 tenths is 5, is 5 tenths. So Victor shaded more because 5 tenths is greater than 4 tenths, or 50 hundredths is greater than 4 hundredths. How much did they shade in all? So... 4 tenths plus 5 tenths equals 9 tenths. So they shaded 9 tenths of the grid. Okay, equivalent fractions. This is good. I'm glad that they have this on here because we definitely need practice for that. Write three equivalent fractions for each fraction. Okay, so 1 half, you guys know that pretty well, 1 half. Anytime your numerator is half of your denominator, that's going to be equivalent to one half. So you can just write any three that you want. I'll pick three, but you don't have to do mine. You can pick whatever you want. So I'll do one half is equal to two fourths, three sixths, and five tenths. Each notice that each numerator is half of each denominator. 
one third. So one third, if I multiply both the numerator and the denominator by two, that's equivalent to two sixths. If I multiply the numerator and the denominator by three, that's three ninths. And if I multiply the numerator and the denominator by four, that's four twelfths. So that's pretty much the easiest way to get equivalent fractions. You just multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number, and that's an equivalent fraction. So we can do the same thing here with one-fourth. One-fourth times two-halves is two-eighths. One-fourth times three-thirds is three-twelfths. And one-fourth times four-fourths is four sixteenths. And you can pick different ones if you want. Sorry that keeps going blurry. I got, I'm using mine now, not Mrs. Daniels. One-fifth times two-halves is two-tenths. One-fifth times three-thirds is three-fifteenths. And one-half times four-fourths is four-twentieths. And that's it. So that is Homelink 5-5, adding tens and hundredths, and I hope you all have a wonderful evening.